Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night, depending on the time that you are watching this video. This is to show that you are able to use a DualShock 3 for the PC game version of Kingdom Hearts. All you're going to want to do is download the SCP Toolkit that up. Make sure that you go ahead and download the application file, the .exe, and you're more than A-OK -okay to use the DualShock 3 without any issues. All right, now as you can see, the game is asking you to use a mouse. For DualShock 3, you will have to connect it to your USB in the computer with the cable. It's not gonna work wirelessly, of course. All you're gonna do is follow the prompts in the STP toolkit. You want to go ahead and download where it says DualShock 3. Go ahead and show you that, but I'm gonna go step by step. Once you go ahead and do everything and want to go ahead and follow the prompts as normal, not select the last two, leave those blank. If you are getting that to please try again, just press go ahead. Since I already have these, it, I'm going to get those prompts, but just follow the steps that it shows you. And there you go. It registers the DualShock 3 just perfectly. You can see the X to confirm, the 0 to cancel. I'm going to go ahead and open a save file so you can see character moves fine. Camera okay. works fine. My controls. Fire! See ya! Wind! There you go. See, there's the proof. No. For the Dual Shock 4. You're going to want to go ahead and use these controls, the sub controls for most of them. For the X, you're going to go ahead and, and use the enter button, and it has to be the right enter button. And then the circle will be for the space. I recommend using the shift button for the block, which is the square and the F button for the triangle to go ahead and open the work cut. You're going to want to make sure that you use the right shift button for L1, not R1. L1 used as the shift. For the target, you're going to go ahead and use R1 to change the target lock. You're going to go ahead and put the letter C or L2. Now, to move forward, which is back, left, and right, you will have to go ahead and set these up. For the left track joystick. For the camera, you are going to go ahead and set that up for the right joystick as the joystick mouse. To reset it, you're going to go ahead and make sure that you use the command. Click on that. 
uh, for the DualShock 4, you can also use the joystick mouse as the trackpad instead of the joystick. It is up to you. You just make sure that you, when you click on the trackpad, you set it up to reset the camera. Now for the trackpad, as you can see, up, down, left, right, as usual, you don't have to use the mouse at all. Okay. So once you have opened Steam, you're going to go ahead and click where it says Steam. You want to go ahead and go towards where it says Settings. You may not see it on my end, but you will go ahead and see it on yours. You're going to go ahead and go to where it says Controller. Right now, I don't have the DualShock on right now, which I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you're going to want to make sure that your Bluetooth has been set up for the DualShock 4 on the computer. Way to do that, make sure Bluetooth is on. You're going to press the share button and the PlayStation button together until you see it flash. Once it turns solid, it means that it has been connected. Once you go ahead and see the controller, you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down where it says desktop layout and select where it says your PS4. This is my setting. This is the way that it was laid out. To go ahead and do these settings, you're going to where it says edit. And that's where you can edit the X, the circle, the square, and the triangle. Now go ahead and make sure you select the correct button. If you collect the wrong button, it will not work. Okay. The share is set to N, which is the first person view. M key is for the start menu where you can pause the game and see you know what level you are and all that good stuff the d-pad it's going to go ahead and make sure you have it under directional pad and there you go where it says game pad and then you press up down left and right accordingly for each one The E key, I have it set up for the gummy mis uh, mission. The joypad, this is where I was saying that you have to go ahead and set up as the letters W, S, A, and D. And you can leave the, when you click on it completely without anything. Make sure that the rumble, which is the vibration, if you go ahead and set that up and you want to feel that, you want to put your DualShock 4 down on a flat surface on your table and select Calibrate. Wait for the calibration to be completed. You can view everything, make sure you have everything a-okay. If you have downloaded the game through Epic and have transitioned it to Steam, this is how you can get the DualShock 4 to work flawlessly in the games. Alright, I hope this one has been informative. If you have liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!